Hi everyone, Dr. Nemechek here. I want to talk to you about the relationship between PMS, premenstrual syndrome, severe menstrual cramps, or what we call dysmenorrhea, and how those are related to uh, bacterial overgrowth and autonomic dysfunction. All right. <clears throat> now, one of the common things that happens with autonomic dysfunction is uh, men and women have trouble regulating blood pressure to their heads. Now, men, it's pretty much the autonomics are going to do all of that. Women, it's a combination of autonomics and progesterone actually have influence on proper pressure in the brain. So prior to the premenstrual window, <clears throat> the progesterone levels will start dropping in a woman and that com that uh, part of the pressure in the brain from progesterone will be declining. But if you have a healthy autonomic nervous system, that will increase the pressure and compensate to keep the pressure normal. And you shouldn't notice anything. Now, if you have some dysfunction of the autonomic nervous system, you don't get that compensatory problem. And so your progesterone levels drop and you start getting these symptoms of low blood pressure, headaches, tired, kind of maybe anxious, irritable, hungry, until your progesterone levels come back up and then you feel better. That's what PMS is. It's this fluctuation down and up, down and up, down and up. And uh, um, it's quite disturbing. It's from uh, damaging, damage to the autonomic nervous system that didn't recover fully. And the damage is physical things, emotional trauma, and inflammatory traumas. Now, what, what prevents it from recovering is bacterial overgrowth. Well, inflammation, and the primary source of that is SIBO, or small intestine bacterial overgrowth. Now, what's interesting is if we talk about dysmenorrhea, or severe menstrual cramps, <clears throat> What I've noticed for many, many years is if women take uh, around, so we use rifaximin to control SIBO, that within one or two months that the menstrual cramps are minimal to nothing. And they could have been so bad you're missing school or work prior. It's usually about two cycles and the women will report, wow, it's so much better. Don't even bother me uh, really at all. And so, and it's the same, that SIBO is the same thing that can cause all the inflammation that um, makes it hard for you to recover, that gave you the injury that caused the PMS in the first place. Now, sometimes also women will think it's kind of hormonal and they get drenching sweats at nighttime. That's also from the SIBO, okay? So you need one or a couple rounds of Rifaximin to balance your gut bacteria. That would stop the menstrual cramping within one or two months. Night sweats go away very quickly. And then using the other components of our protocol. So you need the high dose DHA fish oil, olive oil, and probably five minutes of VNS a day, vagus nerve stimulation, and then the autonomics recover and all the PMS stuff goes away. So... PMS, bad menstrual cramps, super common, simply from <clears throat> the inflammation being driven by SIBO. And uh, it's just so you know, it's fully reversible. We do it all the time. Good luck to you. Hope that helps everybody. Bye.